the chieftain of the All Progressives Congress, APC, and former Delta State House of Assembly member, Efe Ofo Bruko, has said that the Delta State Governor is yet to be up and running with the affairs of governance in the oil-rich Niger Delta State. Honorable Ofo Bruko made this revelation in an interview with Arise News on Monday, where he was discussing President Bola Tinubu's policies and economic reforms amid the rising economic hardships and food insecurity in the country. Having grown up in the same community with him, having known him over the years, we know ourselves, we know our strengths, we know our weaknesses. My view, sincerely, with all sense of apology, uh, responsibility and due apologies to him, I do not think that he's doing well at the moment, as far as Delta State is concerned. Delta can be better than what it is today. If you ask me, it's only birthday greetings I'll be hearing him send to people, birthday greetings, condolence visits, and all of that. I've not seen uh, it's so much way, less, less action. Joining us now on this show for a right of reply is Dr. Festo Sokubo, Chief Strategist to the Delta State Governor. Good morning, Dr. Okubo. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, us. Doctor. How are you? Well, you, you had uh, Honorable Ofubroku there. Yes, I did. He says that uh, what uh, Governor Berawuri has been doing is just uh, uh, paying condolence visits <laughs> and issuing birthday greetings, and it's not up and running, and it's not really living up to expectation. Almost one year to the point of his election as governor. You are his chief strategist. You, are, you have not been giving him strategies for serving the people. Well, first of all, uh, let me thank you for this opportunity. And then, of course, to also ask, where is Rufai? No, he's away today. Okay, because, um, you know, I didn't ask your chairman not to, to make sure he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you could respond to the question. Now, it's unfortunate. And the first thing I need to say is that... Um, the campaigns and elections are over. The elections have been lost in Delta State and the elections have been won. Now, if you listen to Fubruku, you'll see that he clearly has um, not adjusted his mind to the fact that elections are over and that the business of governance is a very serious business. For anybody to say that, uh, the governor, Sharif Oboruri, elder, is not working, then that person must either be a diasporan or he has eyes and has clearly failed to see. The state is growing. The state is improving. And there is a lot of applause for His Excellency uh, Right. Honorable Elder Sheriff Borowuri. Dan, you, you know Delta. You have your correspondence in Delta. I'll tell you something. For the first time under this democracy, a company like Julius Berger has accepted to work in Delta and in worry. It has significance. They are doing a lot there. The state has engaged them to re, 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 renew the city of Wari, Efun, and Uwea Axis. They have been paid over 15 billion. They have a contract of 78 billion. The fact that they have accepted to come and work in Wari tells a lot of stories. Secondly, if you ask anyone in, um, in, uh, in Delta State, they will tell you that for the very first time in a very long while, during the Yuletide, the Christmas and the New Year season, not one gunshot was heard in and around Wari. People moved around all day, all night. Security was assured. Ensuring security is no mean task, and I'm sure you know that. But beyond that, every day, the governor is on the road, ex you know, visiting project sites, driving them to completion. He has paid virtually all the contractors to be back on site and working. And as a matter of fact, if we are a serious people in Nigeria, I think Oborowe by now should be celebrated for being the poster governor right. in Nigeria for continuing 
projects of administrations before him and driving them to completion whilst bringing on very meaningful new projects. Okay. Uh, and, and by job, uh, 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 Madam, in all of this, to underscore his commitment to prudence in, govern in governance, he's been meeting loan repayments on schedule accumulated from governments before him on schedule and in all of these mobilizing contractors getting them back to site putting up new projects paying for them he has not borrowed one naira right, from uh, inception right. of his government okay let me just quickly ask you yes. you've talked about so many projects he's been doing project can you specifically Tell us some of his key achievements in this and specific. So you, I, I hear you say he's done many projects. He's paid contractors. Julius yes. Berger has come to your um, to, um, to Delta State. What are the specific projects right. he's done in the last nine months? Okay. Then beyond that, a number of people are saying that we don't see the governor. He doesn't. I mean, I don't know how many media interviews he's done. They want to. It, it's great to have you here as his chief strategist, but people want to see their governor. They want to hear their governor. I mean, during campaigns, he. I don't know if he participated in any. Any um, debates, but it's also important because some people are like, who is the governor of Delta State? We don't see him, we don't hear him, we just hear representatives. Where is he? Is he media shy? You know what are some of the challenges? But I'd like you to so those two questions. Number one, specific project is done, and you know, achievements, key achievements in the last nine months. And number two is that why doesn't the governor, does he go for media interviews? Does he speak to the people directly? I'm not asking him to speak all the time. Obviously, he'll be very busy, but once in a while. Thank you. You know, when people say, I have not seen you, I have not seen you, it's nothing to get worried about. It means they want to see you. It means they know you are there, they know you are working, but they want to see you. But again, the office of the governor, when he goes, for instance, on tour, or visits, inspection of projects, the media people are always there. They report him. But in terms of uh, sitting down, chatting, blah, blah, people have their different styles. I note what you have said. I'm sure he will um, um, take some actions in that direction. But if you look at Delta State, for instance, you know we have four universities in Delta. If you go around all the universities, they are all a construction site. It's putting up structures for administration, putting up structures for lectures, putting up structures for all manners of things, and they are going on. And recently, we have a new um, campus of the, of the Delta State University of, of uh, Technology, which the governor has just yesterday pronounced that that school, that new campus, will take off in October. And construction, work is going on to ensure that. If you went to Worry, Worry was really messed up. In this one year, he has completed the Worry storm drainage. He has commenced the Uwe a full storm drainage. These are massive things. In Owoibu, from Owoibu in Agbo, in Delta State, in a car federal constituency, he has, come, he has, in fact, almost completed, ready for commissioning, a massive storm drainage. An engineering marvel. In Wari Axis, the bridges that Julius Berger is already inside, on site and walking, clove bridges, roads, and there is completely going to be changed. In any case, NRA is in uh, Uwe, where Fuburuku comes from. All, most of these works are in, where, in his own constituency. That's why I believe, you know, when they, some of these people say these politicians come and say these things, I believe there must be deltans in diaspora because a lot is really going on. If you came into Asaba, in fact, in all areas of the state, work is going on. The Ibuzo Okpanam Road is a new is going on. Ready, determined for commissioning on his first anniversary. He's doing a lot. But like you said, yes, people have their different styles. There are some governors, when they cough, they want to be on television. When they you know, want to eat, they want to be on television. He is not that type. When anybody says, oh, Sheriff is sleeping, if you knew him before he became governor, and now he has bags under his eyes. He hardly sleeps. He's walking round the clock and delivering on important programs and projects. Bursaries to our, our students have been reinstated. He's paying them. Bursaries. He's 
employed more people, over 3,000 people have been employed. Pension is not an, is not an issue now in, in uh, Delta Civil Service. The salary arrears that were being owed, he just cleared 5 billion of it to our workers. He is engaging himself with, the gov with governors. And not to forget that this is a governor who has the rare trouble of having to go through 38 cases, some, most of them, up to the Supreme Court. In the last one year, we applaud him. He Dr. has strength. Dr. Okumbo. Yes, sir. When uh, Sheriff Oberawori was coming, uh, was campaigning, yes. he campaigned on the basis of what he called the more, more agenda. More agenda yes. Many food development opportunities for realistic reforms, enhanced peace and security. Very critical to that is infrastructure development yeah. under the M in the yes. 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 Now, but all these infrastructure projects that you're talking about, you are saying it's doing this, it's nearing completion, it's uh, uh, working on this, it's working on that. Isn't that a way of confirming what uh, Ufuburuku came here to say? That, that everything is a uh, work in progress, that there is no concrete thing that you can point to. So what we're interested in is that, look, it's almost one year now. What are those specific things that you can point to? That this is what Sheriff Oberawori, who promised to uh, uh, do more for the people of uh, Delta State. These are the things that he has done. Not work in progress, ongoing project. We are trying to complete this, many of which were started uh, uh, under uh, Dr. Pa uh, Okowa, his uh, predecessor in office. And then the E, enhanced peace and security. If you could also tell us what he has done about peace and security in Delta State. Specifically, not he's ongoing. He's going to do this. He's almost completing this. That's no. the kind of skepticism. That's what led to the skepticism of uh, Obruku, Do I assume. Doctor, I am sure you, are, you know that you cannot build a big, massive bridge in nine months. You don't need money to do a uh, uh, Wari Ugeli road, which Wari, is in a basket. You, that means you have, not read, you have not driven on that road. Okay. If you have driven on that road, you will see that many sections of that road have been completed. If you go to the Ogwashi end of it, you will see that a massive bridge is under construction now. You don't deliver those in six months. One year anniversary is coming. You're going to have a harvest of completed projects. But let me give you a tip of the iceberg. If you went to uh, Benekuku in the uh, Kuala area, you see that the Benekuku bridge has, is ready for commissioning. That bridge has been on for long. Up till now, people crossed between that area on the Pontu in this day and age. But by May, cars will drive in there. By May, May is a few months. If you went to worry area, for instance, many, many roads are under construction. The stadium in worry is being totally reconstructed. You don't deal, deliver this in two months because the problem of worry was an issue of drainage. So everything, all the roads that Ibori built, all the roads that Udoa built, the roads that Okoa built have all been washed off because there was no proper drainage. The storm drainage in Wari, of course it's underground, so you may not see it, but massive. If you went into those drains, some of them will contain a trailer will drive through them. They are there, you don't, they are not up. So a lot of the times you say, what is going on? But go there and see. And you have a team there. You have a team in Wari. Julius Berger, like I said, is in worry and walking around the clock right now. When I saw Ofoburuku on television, I said, look, he's from Uwe. I said, Ofoburuku, put on joggers. Come to NRA Junction with me and stand in NRA Junction and pronounce that Oboruku is not working. He's not likely to leave that place on hot. Oboruku is working one year. In any case, what solid road, 4.5 kilometer road, can you deliver in one year? 
give provisions for rainy season and in Delta, how many months of dry season? And that's why he timed his mobilization. That's why he timed his payments. That's why he timed when Judas Berger will come in. In this dry season, it's a, a construction site. And by, 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 the, by the first anniversary, you will see that a lot of commissions will be done. And government is not one government goes, you forget what they started. It doesn't work that way. In fact, that is one of the biggest problems of this country. And so some of the roads, when you say they were started by Okawa, I will even tell you no. Some of those roads, the things he's completing, were started as far back as Ibori. Successive governments will come in, want to start their new projects. Right. Here's a man who says no, I'll right. finish all of this and we'll, we'll run. Right, and that's what, for peace, we're about to round off. for the peace and security, yes. like I told you, the whole of this Christmas season, worry did not experience one single gunshot. All right, let me just come in statement. quickly with regards to um, the economy. You talked about infrastructure, yeah. so defending the aim of the more agenda. But mm. I'm sure you'd agree that um, a number of people have protested and NLC workers, uh, members in Delta State, joined the protest last Tuesday um, to just express how difficult things have been. Earlier on last year, or late last year, the governor had approved 10 billion naira for palliatives. Can you share what the money, if the money has been approved, by, and then if the money has been disbursed? To whom were these, was money disbursed to? What palliatives or what? Because um, we've heard many other governors come out to state what they were doing for their people. In Lagos State, for instance, there was transportation um, subsidy, um, healthcare subsidy, students, so a number of things like that. First of all, the 10 billion naira, what did they use it to do? Has it been spent? And the second thing is that what are the specific uh, measures that have been taken by the Delta State government to help the people cushing the effects of the economic hardship? Thank you. It is true that things are tough for everybody. The first step he took in Delta State, trying to uh, make cushion the effects on our people, was to give a palliative al uh, allowance to all workers. And he paid them 10, 10,000, some hired, graduated, for three months. At the same time, if you went around during the Christmas period, he extended a hand of fellowship to all Deltans in their local governments, support in food items, support of all sorts were sent across all the local we governments. Go now, just the 10 billion naira, what was it spent on? Just because, we have, because of our time. That's what I said to you. Workers were all paid 10, 10,000. In addition to that, the young ones were also empowered with skilled training and equipped to go and be on their own and, and you know, earn money. In addition to that, during the Yuletide, to make sure that people don't cry, food items, all sorts of supports were sent to them. And then we also ensured that there was peace in all the local governments. The police were supported, the vigilantes were supported, everything was done. And like I said, in the biggest, hottest part of Delta, not one gunshot was heard. Right. Well, thank, thank you. you so much, Dr. Festus of Thank you. Um, our best regards to the governor, and we look forward to having him on the show to speak to his people. Thank you.